another video and another stop at the side of the road. We left Hesifi this uh, morning and um, we are on our way to the next city called João Pessoa. João Pessoa is actually the capital of the next state, which is the state of Paraíba. We were in Pernambuco, in Recife, and now we're going to the uh, city of João Pessoa in the state of Paraíba. We left, uh, I think we have driven an hour or so, and we still have maybe 45 minutes to go. We just step, stopped here to have lunch because we have Leo with us and we cannot both go inside the restaurant. So this one has a buffet. Um, so we each went in, got our food, then we came outside and uh, we ate while we were watching our boy. <laughs> so we are going to continue to go towards João Pessoa. We will be there only for tonight and early tomorrow morning and then after that we are going to leave to go to our final destination. Um, Hesifi, we really wanted to show you guys much more but unfortunately we were there also very like short, like a day or so. And when we arrived the weather was not very good either. It was raining and uh, cloudy, very windy. So it wasn't an ideal situation to film and to go around. We are hoping that uh, Jean Pesso is different and we can show you as much as possible. So we're gonna now continue with the road trip and show you what's waiting for us. Okay, so on our way to João Pessoa, we decided to stop at another place that is very, very famous and very touristic. Today is Saturday, so it's a little bit complicated to get in and you see the park is kind of empty. But uh, as you will see in the drone images, basically beyond this building and there is like some kind of like a, a small park, Behind this, this structure, there is a point that is right by the water. The, the sea is actually right there, which is actually the Atlantic Ocean. So why this place is so significant is because the point that is behind this building is basically the most eastern point of the Americas. So I'll try to also put a map on the screen to explain to you that where we are now is actually closer to Africa and to Western Europe than to some points of Southern South America and Western South America. So this is why this place is actually very important and a lot of people come here to visit this point. We unfortunately could not go to the point itself, but at least with the drone I could show you where we are on this
walk on the same road you don't even know how amazing it is the, the exact location of where you're standing until you know I, I flew the drone and I saw the point from above and it's just amazing it's incredible how strategic this location is so now we are going to go back to the road and go back to João Pessoa. Mariana already talked to our host and uh, our place is ready. So let's go check in. accommodation in Jean Pessoa. This is the kitchen, little tiny fridge, but anyway we are here only for one night. But very nice and clean. And the bathroom also big big shower and a lot of space bathroom and the living area Mariana and Leo. So this place we are staying here only for one night. And um, sorry, the price was two twenty eight. Yeah, two hundred twenty eight reais. Yeah, two hundred and twenty eight reais. For those who are a fan of a huge TV, uh, there's a huge TV. There's AC, and this is our view. There's a balcony here on the side, and that is the ocean and we are actually close to this shopping mall too Manaira shopping so this would be our accommodation for today and tomorrow morning we are checking out of here to go to our final destination so now let's unpack Settling in, huh? Yes? <laughs> Busy. So, as you can see, the weather is really not cooperating. Uh, we just got here and we checked in as I, I was showing you the accommodation and then we just came for a ride just to see the places that we wanted to go and film and everything and I think the rain from yeah, Recife is actually on. following us because it started raining as soon as we got out. <laughs> so, and it's already like uh, 4.30 in the afternoon and soon it's gonna be dark so what we're gonna try is to see if tomorrow if the weather is better then uh, we get up early and we try to show you guys those places tomorrow in the morning and if not we tried <laughs> so it's the next day now as you can see the weather is much better now and we decided to leave the hotel a bit early to come and uh, show you a couple of places that uh, we can still see in the short period that is left from our stay because we're leaving right after. We were here only for one night and last night, as you saw, the weather was not that good. Where we are, we are right next to a hotel that uh, it was built and in terms of architecture and everything, it was really, really amazing and unique and right by the water. But unfortunately now, it's been closed and it's been a while that it's closed and it's not in use but still it's a standing it's a huge structure apparently inside there was like it was 
really, really state-of-the-art facility. But unfortunately now it is uh, closed and uh, I'm not sure if there are plans to renovate the place and use it again or build another one. But it's a place that everybody comes and visits. We are at the Tambau beach, which is the, one of the main beaches along the coastline that you have in Joan Pesso. And this is the place for all the Instagrammers that want to take a picture. We didn't know, but today apparently there was an event going on with, uh, with I think it was a marathon. As you can see over there, it's within 5k or 10k or uh, 21k. And when we arrived, they were already giving out the prizes. But um, on another weekend, I would assume it would be less crowded. I'm gonna try to walk a bit, show you guys this part of the beach as well. This, this one and the hotel that we showed you are most, most of the people that come here at least these two places you have to visit so since we have very very short time we just came to see this place as well and oh wow this hotel here like the design stepped in a pile of water like my whole foot I think it's gonna get wet soon so many things to, to see and so many things to talk about and you get distracted and wow yeah I really like the design of this place it's a hotel I think very nice so to us, it looks like uh, Jean Pessoa is a mix of Masaya and uh, Aracaju. Aracaju, which uh, we, you saw in another video also on our way to go to Masaya a few months ago. Uh, we stopped there as well. But it's a very nice mix. I find it's a good mix of everything. Um, it's a big city, but it's not as chaotic as, let's say, Salvador. Salvador just driving around it was a bit hectic here. No, it's a big city, but it looks like calmer It looks like um, more organized at least I would say 
And of course the beach is there always, everywhere you go, you can't get enough of the, the beach. And along the way here also, as you can see, there is all like markets and uh, shops, restaurants, coffee shops. Even last night when we were driving uh, in the rain, but just to see the car in the city, in the car, so many nice restaurants and places. If you are staying here for longer, I'm sure you will have a lot of options for dining and for like even like breakfast, coffee shop, everything. Near the hotel as well, the hotel that we just filmed, there too, there are a lot of places to relax and to have a meal. All right, so that would be it for Jean Pessoa for this video. We were here very like in a very short time, so we tried to show you as much as we could. Uh, continue watching our Oh, somebody just had an accident. <laughs> Drop from the bike. Continue watching our videos because today we're leaving Joao Pessoa and going to our next destination where we will stay for a while. And uh, we will definitely do videos there as well and we'll tell you where it is. So stay tuned for next videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.